The Interrogation is a clever audio production about being misunderstood and is the creation of my next guests on the Tea Time Sofa, artist Charlene Sweeter and director Patrick Collier. Both are from Access All Areas, the company that makes disruptive theatre and performance by learning disabled and autistic artists. The interrogation is in response to the treatment that Charlene herself has received as someone with learning disabilities and how other people have been criminalised for their differences. The app-based performance starts at the London Docklands this Sunday the 29th and then travels to Canterbury, Manchester and Bristol and then back to London to stay at the Battersea Arts Centre. Charlene has already had TV roles, but let's find out more about her role in the interrogation. Welcome to Tea Time with me, Annie Monjack. So how are you today, Charlene? Um, I'm fine, thank you. You know, uh, shame about the weather though, not really sunny and bright, but you know, London's weather, unfortunately. It is. Yeah, there's, there's something about um, being British, isn't there, I think, and living here in the UK, we always get some great weather, not. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so you're busy at the moment with Patrick as well, aren't you? Yes, I am very busy. So how's it all going? Because, you know, it's, it's not long now and you're going to be doing the interrogation. Yeah, um, yeah, just like can't believe it, you know, that, uh, you know, just this work that I've like, you know, written and stuff. And yeah, I'm just happy, you know, yeah. We're doing a dress rehearsal yeah. today. It's, a, it's yeah. a, our first time seeing it in the space, which is really yeah. exciting. Um, so, Fantastic. That sounds really good, actually. So, um, when was the idea of the interrogation first born? Uh, well, basically, um, I was um, on um, the social media. Uh, um, I was on um, on Facebook, and sometimes they have like news articles on there, and I come across um, a kind of uh, a news article about a a teenager. Um, um, he was in secondary school and he had um, Asperger's and um, he was trying to like, um, was trying to communicate, you know, was trying to um, ask for help, you know, and he was like very non-verbal and like the headmistress come and sees him and he kind of thinks that he's like, you know, um, being disrupted or, you know, being, you know, not very nice person so he had to like call the police and they had to like escort escort the um the teenager out so that kind of really got me really frustrated it's like you, you have a school right and uh you you should know that you have like an, an, an autistic you know um pupil in your school and you know you should know what their needs are, you know, instead of, you know, judge them that they're harmed, they're doing harm, you know. So that's why I want to do interrogation because there, there was no, um, you know, what he needs was instead of thinking that, you know, he's a criminal because of, you know, his Asperger's. Oh, yeah, and he's not, you know, clearly. So, I mean, it, it's... um. It's a very difficult situation, isn't it, for, for him? And yeah, I mean, that that is, you know, brilliant that you're doing this. So to convey the difficulties of communication, isn't it? Yeah, that is, yeah. Because like with communication, you know, there's some of us, you know, that use communi- we have different ways of communication, you know, how we express ourselves, you know, so that's another reason why I want to make interrogation as well, to, to make people aware that communication and language is so important, you know, for my de- everyday life and the people that we're working with so that we can work together and get along, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. 
So, I mean, what do you feel has been your your main challenges as an artist, Charlene? Um, I think my um, challenges uh, has been, you know, um, you know, is communication because I've kind of got like a speech problem sometimes. It's like some people can't really understand me. And like, they want me to repeat and it kind of really frustrates me. Mm. And it's like, you know, if they just like, you know, um, ask me, you know, what my needs are, like, do I need help with, you know, reading, writing? And, that, and I will kindly, you know, you know, accept that offer, but, you know, in this world, you know, you can't really have your cake and eat it, really, can you? <laughs> no, well said, well said. This is, this is true. So that, that must have been really quite frustrating for you, though, at times, definitely. Mm-hmm. You know, that people don't... Um, ask you to to keep repeating stuff and and that you know is as we've said is not is not great but I mean why the four cities across the UK um I mean that that is just amazing isn't it <laughs> yeah no I, I'm just really excited because you know I'm really you know I'm really curious and really would love you know the feedback to get from the, the different tour locations to hear what their feedback is and you know just to like expire inspire someone that's like had the same experience you know saying oh yeah I can I can relate to Charlene you know I felt the same experience you know and and uh, I can like overcome this you know and you know and um Yes, so that's why I'm so happy that's going to these different uh, tour venues. Yeah. It's very exciting as well, isn't it? So to be putting this across um, across four, you know, major cities in the UK, I mean, that that's brilliant. And um, I mean, Patrick's obviously been helping you do that as well, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Here and there, when I'm left. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, it, this is a really exciting um, tour for us that it's happening as culture is beginning to reopen. Um, you know, we've kept going as a theatre company, we've kept working through the lockdown, but this is the first time that we'll be going to cities outside London. Um, so we're going to Bristol, Manchester and Canterbury as well as London. Mm. Um, so it's just really nice to reconnect with audiences that we know there um, as a company that have come to previous work. Um, and also in each of these cities as well, there's quite a good, uh, strong communities of people with autism and learning disabilities. So yeah. like Charlene said, it's I think they're nice places to go where um, hopefully people will see themselves reflected in the piece um, and, and yeah. maybe have a similar experience yeah. to Charlene, I think. Well, I mean, this is all very clever stuff, isn't it? I mean, you know, with the GPS as well. <laughs> hopefully not too clever yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah hopefully not too clever but you know what what a great idea in in you know helping people understand what the challenges and frustrations are you know and hopefully as you said being being able to help so I mean how long has it kind of taken you Charlene to put this together um well it kind of started off um uh, um, with access or nervous, um, we did like a kind of like a DIY workshop where um, some of the artists, including myself, we were um, we had like ideas to like pitch an idea um, that um, that could like get developed, and um, that's where my idea of the interrogation um, idea come across and um um yes it 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 was going to be you know theater based but because of you know the pandemic and stuff like that we decided that it'd be best if it would be in an app um instead of like theater um um so yeah when did you do the first 
Rehearsal was 2019, I yeah. think, was that week, wasn't it? Yeah, it was 2019, yeah, yeah, mm. I think, yeah. Wow, so that's a long time in the making. This is because of the pandemic, I suppose, um, that it's taken so long, hasn't it, really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We got some great support from Arts Council in the middle of the pandemic to to turn it all into this app experience. So it's become this outdoor walk yeah. that you use your smartphone and um, you download an app and that's where you kind of engage with the with the play. Um, so that's been happening since maybe yeah. February this year. Yeah, I think. February, yeah. And and it's like we've we we we've, we've worked with credible people that's like been involved with the app. It's like um Sean, who, Sean, who's the writer, mm. and he's like written, but for my purpose, so all my words um, that he's written, he's put into the script, but it's all come from my words. He's just like, you know, done it as like, you know, um, yeah. And uh, we also got um, Marmeno, who's our the, um, app designer for the app. Um, which you know that they are awesome, mm-hmm. and also we've got um, uh, Max, who's the sound um, designer, who does who will who pops the um, the sounds and music into the app. Yeah, and then we've got Man Brothers, who does the videos, which the videos are really cool as well. So yeah, you get you get all the variety from the app. So yeah. It's really- yeah, no, that's it. Really does sound amazing. So, it's um, it's basically launched this weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be at Greenwich Fair on Sunday. Um, yeah. We're sold out on Sunday, but then touring for the rest of September yeah. around the country. Oh gosh, that, it really, really does sound, you know, uh, an amazing thing. And you know, I think the the Docklands as well kind of really lends itself, doesn't it, to to that whole artistic piece so to speak doesn't yeah. it so. it's a lovely area to walk around i think um while you're doing the piece as well it's really really yeah. nice yeah it is uh it's a very it's actually historical isn't it really so yeah so that yeah. that should be good so how long is the actual piece charlene um yeah 75 minutes yeah 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 but yeah but thing is with with, with, you know um you can you don't have to follow the route when you have the the um, app you can just like sit sit somewhere while you um you know so yeah so it is really you know you kind of do it at your own pace you sort of said that at an average walking speed would be about 75 minutes But um, right. for some people who maybe don't walk as much or wheelchair users, or if you need somewhere to sit, sorry, it's not noisy. <laughs> it's a noisy person. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so you should be able to do it in your own speed. Um, but roughly, we're saying about 75 minutes. Yeah. Oh, lovely. So it's also been um, commissioned by the Lowry, isn't it? Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah, they gave us a chunk of money and they have a brilliant program for developing artists as well. Um, it's one of the reasons we're going to Salford with them. Um, so they gave us some money to uh, help turn it into an app as well. Um, hopefully we might do more work with them in the future. Yeah. yeah, and all it sounds like you do. I mean, you've already, Charlene, yourself done quite a lot of work, haven't you, with television as well? Yeah, I've, um, I've been on... Um... Doctors and casualty, yeah. <laughs> yeah, did you do you enjoy that? Yeah, I, I really, I really do enjoy it because you know they really they accept me for who I am, and the thing is yeah. they don't judge me, and they really make me feel comfortable. And what's good about it is that they give me feedback, and I really love having feedback. And once I learned that. I um we we um do my steps and yeah. Oh, how exciting! It sounds really exciting stuff to do as well. So, yeah, good for you. And because you you guys have been working together quite some time, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, we have been now. Yeah. 
you started in 2014? Yeah, I, yeah, I started, yeah, 2014, mm-hmm. where, um, where, um, when I did, um, uh, speech and drama, um, at Swiss Cottage, um, that was the first, uh, project that Access or Lenvis did and I was the first one that you know started it all so yeah from there I've kind of like really grown as an artist and yeah and I feel that I've grown more wiser as well. <laughs> yeah no it, it sounds like an amazing time for you as well which is brilliant so this is such exciting stuff, isn't it? That it, it's um, going to be happening from Sunday. So, are you really excited? Yes, yes, I, I am. I'm, I'm just like, you know, when um, you know, all did come. I just, you know, I would really love them to like, you know, really listen to it and just understand, you know, that, you know, if you see a person that's like confused and not really sure you know don't be afraid to like ask them like you know are you okay are you all right is there anything that i can do instead of you know of being scared of that person you know because that person may not be a you know a troublemaker or threat or anything you know they just probably just need help you know so that's what i'm hoping for the audience to come and see. So, I mean, obviously, you know, everybody's been suffering with mental health and people with learning disabilities through the, the pandemic have suffered incredibly so, haven't they? Yeah, um, I think something that we are trying to get out there as a company is that um, learning disabled people have been dying at a much higher rate during the pandemic, um, often because communication is inaccessible. Um, so I think I think the figure is six times higher than the general population. And one of the reasons we wanted to do this show outside on the streets is because the streets, our, our streets as a country are still not accessible. They're not a friendly place for people who are learning disabled or neurodivergent. Um, and as Charlene said, you know, it's one thing that people should go and just be themselves. Um, and, uh, you know, learning disabled autistic people should be able to be who they want to be on the streets. But it's also up to all of us to make the streets a bit more welcoming, I think. Um, so that's what we're trying to do with this. No, definitely. I think, you know, it's it's a really good thing that you are. And also, you know, it's it's it sounds like the interrogation is very engaging as well, which is what, you know, what you need, isn't it? So that people do understand. Yeah. And, and there is going to be some fun elements. So there will be like, a, you know, on, on the app, you will be like, participate in the app so there is like fun elements in it so yeah 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 no i think that's absolutely fantastic i I wish i could come myself but i'm unfortunately busy this weekend i've had a a very big birthday this week which we won't talk about (laughs) (laughs) a big birthday yeah 21 again so <laughs> we'll send you a link so you can listen to it with a glass of uh, a glass of prosecco, maybe. <laughs> oh, lovely! No, that that would be lovely. Thank you. So, um, Charlene, thank you so much for coming on. And I mean, you know, what would you say? Has this been very challenging to put together? Has this been the most challenging piece you've had to put together? Um. No, I, I think this is like exciting, you know, because it's like in an app and, you know, and it's all Joe as well. So I'm, I just think it's just absolutely amazing, you know, how, you know, how this app, you know, could just be a, a performance, you know. So I'm really chuffed and I'm very pri- privileged, you know, to have this opportunity for my, uh, you know, my show to be you know, a part of it. So yeah, I'm, yeah, and I'm very, very thankful for the company that I'm with Access or Nervous, you know, I am, I'm so chuffed and, you know, happy with them, uh, you know, um, 
yeah, they've done a lot for me. And, you know, without access or areas, I don't think, you know, I'd survive, you know, so, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. And I'm sure they feel the same way about you, don't you, Patrick? Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> I think... Access Hill Areas is our artist. It's it's um, Charlene is the center of Access Hill Areas and um, very much the reason why we exist. So yeah, very much. So. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And and I mean, what a brilliant time that is actually coming out because there must have been lots of people, you know, with autism um, or other conditions that basically, you know, have not. Um, being able to express themselves during the pandemic because we've all kind of been locked away haven't we so I mean to be this is a really sort of good time for everybody to you know sort of further the understanding you think yeah yeah that's that's what you know I'm passionate about you know the understanding and you know just to embrace people you know just to just to love what they've got you know just to like inspire them you know not to be afraid of who they are and you know because you know that's really my passion and me as like I would say as a role model to any disability you know I just want them to like feel good in themselves and don't be afraid and yeah you, you know just do what you do and um yeah, don't worry about the negative stuff, you know, just rock on and be your natural self. Rock on. <laughs> I love that, Charlene. That's brilliant. That really, really is. Well, look, as they say in show business, break a leg. <laughs> Thank you. Not, not literally, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, good luck with it all. And thank you for coming on today. Thank you so no, much. Thank you very much. Look forward to chatting with my next guest on the Tea Time Sofa this time next Saturday. In the meantime, if you would love to get in touch about having a chat with me, you can reach me on Tea Time at forthenow.co.uk or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram on Tea Time with AM. Bye for now.